There's nothing more enjoyable than bringing home a puppy. And one of the first things you must learn as a dog owner is house training them. I'm here with one of Caesar's head trainers, Todd Langston, to show us how. So Todd, for those who just got a new puppy, what are the first steps into house training? Well, the first thing to remember is that we're really operating on a dog's natural instinct. As a dog grows up, its mother removes any waste around them in the den. So the puppy learns not to be around their waste as they grow up. So when we bring them into our house, the way that we imitate that is that we use structure. Structure is gonna control where the puppy goes and when they do it. Most people get a puppy around seven or eight weeks of age. Seven weeks is about the time you wanna start house training. So if a puppy comes into your house and is allowed to wander around, there's a good chance they're gonna wander over to the other side of the house, under the coffee table, uh, around the corner into the den, find a nice soft spot to go, and they're gonna go pee or poop. And as soon as they do that, they've started to learn, this is where I can go to the bathroom. So I will take them first thing into the spot of the yard or the puppy pad or the place that you need or want them to go in your environment. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna stand calmly, almost ignore them. And when they go, I'm gonna make it a positive experience. I can use a little treat. I can use a little pat on the head. Is there an ideal time to let a puppy use the restroom? A puppy needs to go to the bathroom after they eat, after they sleep, and after they play. So as the owner, your job and responsibility is to make sure that they get ample opportunity to go to the bathroom after those moments. Let's say my puppy didn't go to the bathroom when I took him out to give him the opportunity. When I bring him back inside, they're gonna go right back outside in about five or 10 minutes. But a new puppy at seven weeks of age, I am going to take outside probably every hour. Let's say that I, I stick to my hour schedule and I notice that after about 45 minutes, there was an accident. Well, my puppy just taught me that it can't hold it for an hour. So I'm gonna take him outside every 45 minutes. If you're doing this right, what you should start to see is an increase in time in between the needed bathroom breaks. And you should find at night, a puppy can typically hold it almost twice as long. But again, you will learn this sometimes through trial and error. You think your puppy can stay in the crate for three hours and after two and a half hours you find an accident. Should I discipline my puppy if it uses the bathroom inside the house? You don't want to correct a puppy for making the mistake. You want to take the puppy if you catch him in the act and get him out where you want them to go as quick as possible. Go back and clean up the area thoroughly with a cleaning solution so the dog's not drawn back to that area again and again. Doesn't matter if you have a puppy or an adult dog, this is gonna be the formula. They're gonna tell you what they're capable of. They're gonna tell you somewhat what's working for them. And your job is just to consistently follow what they tell you. Thanks Todd for giving us wonderful tips on how to housebreak a puppy.